Hello everyone and welcome to my Mod Showcase series in Kerbal Space Program 0.23.5 and as you might be able to tell from this here the mod I'm featuring today is Professor Phineas Kerbenstein's Wondrous Vertical Propulsion Emporium version 0.16a now that's quite a mouthful so so I'm just gonna call it the steampunk mod from uh, here on out because that's essentially what it is it is the steampunk mod and uh, it has some dependencies, uh, one of which is the custom design spacesuits from Green Skull Inc. And this is specifically the steampunk suit from that collection. That collection, of course, uh, relies on Texture Replacer. I'll talk about the other mods that this mod depends on further into the game, but uh, let's get started first. Now, the only mods I have installed are the ones that are explicitly required by the by this mod or at least suggested by this mod so first of all it requires fire spitters plugin and sounds however I just installed the entire fire spitter plugin because if you're gonna have uh, steampunk stuff you might as well have biplanes as well so uh, we've of course got the biplane cockpit and all attendant parts with fire spitter and that should work out well with this mod it also requires mechjeb for cogjeb which is its own little version of MechJeb that's uh, here. So this requires MechJeb. Um, it requires the Kerbal Attachment System and Kerbal Quest Jetpacks for its jetpacks. And uh, here's its jetpack. I, I'm i gonna hesitate to try that out this time, I'm sorry. But it'll give you an incentive to uh, pick up this mod and try it out for yourself because uh, you know how I hate getting Kerbals killed, and that seems like a recipe for disaster right there. Uh, it requires the Hooligan Labs Airships plugin, and that's for the Hydrogen Dirigible. And Hydrogen Dirigible is... Most of the new parts are from Fire Spitter, so don't get too, uh, too confused. There's actually relatively few parts for this mod, uh, and I'll point them out. So there's the Hydrogen Dirigible. Okay, so that's going to be your main ability to create a uh, lighter than air vehicle and so the the actual mods that come with this are this jetpack um, it's not 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 this glider these these are from the jetpack mod itself so just this jetpack and this barrel capsule so that's your main capsule in this one and then we've got some tanks we've got a copper fuel line appropriate a boiler tank and that's to produce steam. Oh no no, that uh, requires steam and outputs water. Huh. High pressure. Hold steam at oh holds steam at high pre heat and pressure. Okay. Whatever it says. All right. I haven't actually played with this yet, so I'm, I'm discovering some of this on on my, right now. Uh, I've I saw what parts it installed, but that's about it. Um, fuel tower, nitrous oxide, and whale oil. Well, I can't say I I approve of the whale oil, but I also can't say I'm surprised. When it comes to fuels of the Industrial Revolution, you're basically picking your poison, and uh, coal was and is still the main fuel of the Industrial Revolution. I wonder, uh, we don't seem to have much coal here. Uh, we have gunpowder guess could get worse than that uh, but not so much coal so I, I probably would have I mean even though coal has a potential for killing not just one species but quite a lot of them I uh, might have just preferred to stick to coal on this one but anyway whale oil it is and nitrous oxide apparently available to people in the Victorian era okay uh, this is your monoprop rocket gimbaled amazingly enough uh, gunpowder booster rocket notice the low vac uh, low ISP in both uh, sea level and vacuum I mean I guess that's the closest thing we can come to realism on this one of course it's still not quite realistic unless you think that you can actually use steam to power a rocket which uh, yes we do I think we have a steam powered rocket somewhere here uh, sphere tank Steam rocket nozzle, there you go. Max stress 400. Um, yeah, 
I, I don't know about that. Whale oil rocket. I'll... Wow, the whale oil rocket seems to have pretty good ISP. Uh, that's dubious. I, I don't know about that. I think I might stick to the steam rocket, though. I guess the whale oil rocket is meant to simulate a second stage thing, but really then its sea level ISP should be lower. Um, water barrel, whale oil barrel, and what was some of the stuff we missed? The nitrous oxide tank, gimbaled radial rocket, okay, and that's a mod propellant thing. Pusher propeller, that's for any blimp or zeppelin or anything like that. Uh, airship. Okay, launch escape rocket, large whale oil rocket, and so forth. Okay. Cogjab, uh, that's uh, yeah, just the kind of things that you would expect, except for a ship's wheel, that probably you weren't entirely expecting. And I don't think it has anything but, but aesthetic benefits. Okay, so the structural parts, and this is where we're going to start off. I'm going to start off trying to build an airship, and we need structural parts for that. And there's a lot of structural parts, actually. That's the largest part of this mod, I think. So we've got all these cargo barrels, steam cods, girder adapters, and I'm going to try and keep it simple for my first one. So a uh, ship end, a uh, ship section, I'm going to try and get a airship together, a very simple airship. Uh, there's this uh, the ship section open, but I'm going to forego that for now because it seems like... Uh, well, a recipe for disaster as usual. So let's keep it very simple. Not that way, not that way, this way. Okay, and okay. Come on. Alright, and I want just one, one uh, envelope, one... Let's see, where are they? Ah, yes, dirigible. Okay. Wish uh, it automatically centered itself, though. Right. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't snap. That so that's that's one complaint I have, and another complaint is that the the parts are obviously not oriented for the space plane hangar, and for the airship, I think it should be oriented for the space plane hangar rather than the. VAB. So let's try. Well, actually, there's no point getting the the envelope uh, perfectly aligned with the center mass when we don't even have the basics of our vehicle yet. Let's get uh, our only capsule is a barrel capsule. So this one's unmanned. So um, so yeah, we need to let, let's just put it in the middle. Barrel capsule. Now. How do I mount the propeller in the back? So we've got this pusher propeller. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any attachment point for it. Uh, seems like it should be a structural part whenever we pick. Oh, well that, that has possibilities. Yeah, that, that could do. Uh, not quite right. Okay. So, like this. Right. Okay, that's acceptable. And you can see the mass has moved quite far to the back. Let's balance that out by having a fuel tank in the front. And unfortunately, our only propeller, this pressure propeller, uh, takes whale oil. Uh, though I could, if I wanted to, replace it with some of the. But uh, the unfortunately, the fire spitter parts are a little bit too futuristic. But we could have an electric propeller if you really wanted to avoid this. But it wouldn't be very steampunkish. So. So whale oil it is. Um, 
I have to say, attachment points are an issue with this whole mod. Um, as you can see, Barrel doesn't really want to sit... Let me get this spot... Okay, let's put it over here. It is oriented properly. And I, I want to put it on top of the deck. Okay, there we go. Wow, we, we we still need more mass up front. It comes with... The, there are various interesting parts. For instance, cannons. So you do have cannons uh, if you want to do broadsides and stuff like that. It's got acid battery. Maybe that'll add some mass. Okay. Um, cannonball. Barrel shoot. Coach lamp. Lamps I want. But, oh, uh, we, we, let's put some uh, solar power while we're at it. Um, let's put them on the side of the dirigible. Does it... Oh, it uh, symmetrizes like that. Okay. Well, we can deal with that. Hmm. Well, there's no good way to match him up. All right, but that's close enough. All right, so we've got uh, those. That's nice. But we need to figure out how... I don't want to put cannons. I don't like putting weapons on my craft. Steam landing leg. Well, this really needs wheels, landing wheels. Uh, if you've ever tried to land an uh, airship, you should know that. But unfortunately, here's where the problem... Yeah, the, 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 this is why I want it in the space plane hangar, right? But I guess it's just not going to line up quite right. No. <sighs> I, re I definitely want wheels on this thing. This is certainly the craft that would require the wheels. Uh, the landing legs. If you wanted to build a rocket, you wouldn't use wheels on that. Okay, well, I'm just going to go to Snap and have... Do it one wheel at a time. And I guess we have to put it in the middle of the body, otherwise it won't work out right. Let's pick this one. Let's see, does the propeller have clearance? Uh, not quite. Let's go lower with the wheel then. Not really the way I want it, and they should probably one set should be flipped around. But I don't want to take a lot of time on those. As long as they can hold the craft up while it's on the ground, that's fine by me. And of course, uh, you will discover that there is some forward movement, so we need to make sure it can deal with that. Now, I think we have some mass issue to deal with. I guess perhaps a gyroscopic directional discombobulator might help. Uh, wrong place though. We need forward. I mean, the mass of the propeller is huge. There we go. And how about a control wheel? ship's wheel. Again with the attachment points. Uh, let's see, is it oriented right? No, it doesn't seem to be. Does it even have an attachment point, does it? I mean, you can't see little green 
thing on there. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Nope. Forget it. We'll we'll deal with the accoutrement at a later date. I mean I guess we can add canards. Or maybe not. <laughs> Uh, is there something about how Kerbal attaches things that I'm missing here? The, the mod has a different notion. Oh, look at that. No, this isn't right at all. Okay, well, uh, I guess we have to skip canards too. Mm, mass is a little bit far forward compared to where the, that is. So we need to add a little bit of mass to the back. If I could add the winglet, I would, but symmetry isn't working out right at all. Maybe I should turn off angle snap for some of this stuff. Uh, l let's turn off angle snap and try and get the wheel back on. How? Oh, doesn't weigh much anyway. Oops. Let's not get have that. Ah, now it works. So angle snap is not a good thing for this. Maybe that was my problem with the with everything. So angle snap, don't do it with this mod, basically. Uh, we're getting close, but not quite there. We don't really have any mod propellant, but we don't really need any mod propellant for this sort of thing. Let's just have a structural part of some sort. Cargo barrel. Fair enough. After all, what is this for? If it's not got guns, it better have some cargo. Oh, well not with the wheel there. Then the wheel should go in front. Honestly. Now, it should have been the way to start it closed, but apparently not. Let's turn it. So it's not really configured for the new tweakables. I guess that'll do for now. Hmm. Well, let's see how it works with this sort of configuration and hope that maybe... Oh, well, let's... I guess you can't go wrong with uh, steel girders. Can we put a flag on it, do you think? Maybe maybe a leg strut... Oh, that's a huge strut. Okay, that's looking better. All right, uh, let, let's go with this then. Let's see if this actually works. Uh, I'm not going to name it until I find that out. Uh, well, you know, uh, traditionally, cog jib. Let's put cog jib. Let's attach it there. Alright, let's go out there. Okay, so I've never flown one of these in in KSP before. By, that, by these I mean airship. Of course, there had always been the Hooligan Labs mod, which would allow you to do airships. Uh, that throttle should be down. But I had never used that before. So this is my first time with an airship and appropriately there's Jeb there. And again, no other mods except for the ones that uh, were listed in the mod description for this mod. So again, Professor Phineas Kerbenstein's Wondrous Vertical Propulsion Emporium. And we're starting off with an airship. We'll build a rocket afterwards. Let's add some buoyancy to this. So this is the Hooligan Labs thing that allows you to control your airships. And we're now increasing our buoyancy in our envelope and off we go can we steer this thing yes uh, let's head towards something uh, oh, the coast will be fine I think my my control is back uh, is the the heading is the wrong way around am I controlling from here yeah 
Let me bring the gear up. We don't need the gear down. Oh, they they did they all go up in the right direction? This one goes back. This one falls back. Okay, so at least there's that. All right. Um, well, we are buoyant. We're not using a lot of our buoyancy, but let's challenge that. Let's see if the propeller works. Uh, we don't seem to have the whale oil connected up. Nice, nice sounds though. And it's spinning. Of course, uh, the only way you can get the propeller to spin is with the fire spinner mod. So now we don't have whale oil. Oh, we do have whale oil, but we don't have it hooked up to the, uh, the engine. So if I throttle up, nada. Flame out. Not flame out really, but... So there you go. It's got its own little air intake, so you see that we've got intake air. Interesting. But we're not getting anywhere like this. So, actually, I wonder if the whole uh, helicopter thing will work. Helicopters, as you know, no, it shouldn't, because it's not got uh, propulsive power in any direction. We're heading down now. We could stay up using for the buoyancy, but let's try and make a landing. Uh, gear down. Actually, this is not a particularly safe place to make a landing, is it? Let's actually shut off the engine simply because it's useless and I don't actually want to drift anywhere right now just in case it's got some latent latent ability to push us around and I want to descend but not too fast What does IVA look like? Ooh, IVA is not bad. But I don't want to stick around there and take a look at all the details while we're, uh, we're in this situation. Okay, now. Alright, we've got a very, very good IVA here. Hmm. Alright. No, oh, we're going up again. Come on. Now, of course, the reason why it's so buoyant is because it's meant to carry larger loads than what we've got here. No, 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 no. Don't go back up again. Ah, I know that was a rough landing. Come on. Getting airships down, I tell you. Difficult stuff sometimes. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time. Let's, let's revert for now and try and get the engine hooked up. So the problem is we don't, we actually don't have fuel cross feed capability here and we need to make use of these copper fuel lines but how do I run can we run a direct line well that that's a start actually I think these will be able these parts are rocket parts they'll have to be able to cross feed the fuel I think that's really this cog that's causing the problem maybe make sure it's not attached to that cog alright Let's see if this works now. Okay, well here we go again. Let's uh, activate the engine. And yes, we've got whale oil. Let's get uh, stability on. 
And it looked like we needed about 25% to get going here. Intake air fluctuating. Okay, off we sit, off we go here. Now you could imagine uh, mixing technologies and having these airships with a docking port and all sorts of craziness could ensue. All right, let's throttle up. Now the propeller, like the like the dirigible is meant to power something much bigger than what I've created here. Presumably with a lot of cannons sticking out on the side. So... Yeah, I mean, just keep that in mind that, uh, yeah, it seems overpowered, but going 120 miles an hour. Um, but this is not exactly the configuration that this propeller was meant for. And of course, you could always use thrust limiter to give yourself a little bit more reasonable a situation and actually we're only at one-third thr thrust so we could probably go all the way back here and now we're getting a little bit more of the airship feel to it even at full throttle wheel oil consumption is actually pretty quick I guess that's that's one thing I, I guess the airship should be carrying a lot more of that fuel in order to and that would weigh it down my controls are actually backwards right now uh, let's try to head for the island runway which I don't think I've ever visited in in a video It's a little bit difficult. Uh, I'm turning right, but I'm uh, my control stick. I'm actually turning left, so this is gonna be a tad tricky. I think that is the island runway island, right? Okay, I I'm not gonna waste your time, so we will release some of the thrust limit, and let's get a little bit higher up. Jeb Kerman, really going where no Kerbal has gone before. And certainly in my videos, never to the island runway. I, I, I buzz the island runway, I think. I don't think I've landed there, though. Oh, on buoyancy control, you also have this attitude control. And so you can have a target vertical velocity and all that. Touch ground to save. Huh. I don't know what that really means. But so you can uh, fine tune your target vertical velocity here. So if I want to go up, that's I can make sure exactly how much. Though that's not quite as much fun as trying to figure it out for yourself. Go take that off. Okay, this is, even though we're going at speeds that dirigibles were never meant to go, got to pour on the velocity here, because I am an impatient person, and this is a longer trip than I thought. Seems so quick when you're in a rocket, after all. I wonder if it's actually safe to EVA Jeb right now. I don't think so. I think we would probably have to put this into a hover, the acceleration, and probably kill the engine entirely before we can have Jeb walk around. Now I can see the island runway now. Let's not have so much buoyancy. Uh, as you can see, the pitch, uh, I'm not touching the control stick now, but the pitch is already pitch full down here. So I think there's probably some sort of uh, issue with the way I've got the center of lift and center mass. It's causing it to have a little bit of a problem. 
Uh, that can be solved. That can be solved simply by me throttling down. The, the propeller generates a bit of lift. Okay, everything looks good. Interestingly, this pod also has mod propellant built in, so could keep that in mind. Did take a lot of oil oil to get us just as far. Not a very efficient fuel by any stretch of the imagination. So after this, I'm going to plan to make a steampunk rocket, and we'll see how that looks. I've really got to play with propeller planes in this game more. Now that I've got fire spitter, I've, that's something that really should be done. Oh, oh dear. Um, well, that complicates matters. That's a weird bit of land clipping. Remember, I, I haven't changed... Oh, oh, whoa. Come on. No. Oh, the wrong way around. The wonders. Okay, let me cut power here. This is now a complication. Uh, this is the default game except for the mods I listed. So, uh, Fire Spitter, Mech Jab, Kerbal Attachments, the Jet Packs, Hooligan Labs, and uh, Texture Replacer, really. So, I don't know. Why... There is this terrain problem. Hmm. So now I'm trying to put some. Let's let's put some reverse power here because clearly we're drifting off to this one side here. Without any RCS ports, it's a little bit hard to break in terms of uh, just slowing down. After all, we've only got a propeller at one end, right? This train clipping has got me really distracted. Okay, I think we should start descending. But it's a little bit tough to say with this train doing what it's doing right now. What if I got going here? Maybe it's texture replacer? I can't see how. Let's try and get beyond this this strain. I I'll I'll go for the end of the runway. Wow. Yeah, I haven't seen this before. The question is whether this uh, little bit of terrain that we've got sticking out here has a uh, collision on it. Let me just cut the engine now. seem to be floating a little bit far here. Maybe I'm not good enough to do this myself. Let's get some attitude control on this. This is my first time trying this out after all.
Oh, it still bounced. Okay, well, I'm just going to turn buoyancy off at this point. Thank you very much. And we've landed. Okay, well, let's EVA Jeb. Uh, let's get the brakes on. And now let's EVA Jeb. Hot bar inventory. Well, this I don't know about. What is this hot bar and inventory thing? Oh, Jeb doesn't actually has, have his helmet here. That's a new thing. He also has trouble getting around the whole thing. Can he... Can't interact with the wheel, but that's fair enough. Oh, come on, Jeb. I guess... I guess he could load cannonballs into the cannons? Is that a thing? Is that why we have an inventory here? Oh... Oh, sorry folks, I'm not going to be playing around with that this time, but, uh, well, yeah, another reason for you to pick up this mod and check it out. See what you can do with that inventory. Yeah, I guess maybe you load the cannonballs into this container and... Let me see if I can close the bloody container. I don't like it standing open like that. Let's get Jeb back in. Okay. Toggle. Yes, let's close that. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied with this uh this airship test. We'll try we'll try a rocket next. Yep, so let's go to the VAB.